I recall explaining to Scott that Orb Credit and Thata Book may have become popular as bookkeeping apps, but lending couldn't be done on the back of unverified bookkeeping. In fact, if bookkeeping could justify lending, VCs pay should be putting money into tally owned by the Ambani's, incidentally, which carries the entire country's ledgers. While Cook didn't seem very convinced, Scott even invited his public side fintech analyst who had evaluated the model of Square Inc. in the US, a company that put POS machines at shops and was getting into the small business lending space. While I would have had an opportunity to just about say hi, he undertook a monologue on how I was building a great business and that they were convinced that what Bharat Pay was doing phone pay wouldn't be able to achieve. Even when Tiger Global wasn't on my cap table, I used to diligently send them our monthly updates for them to witness our growth story at first hand. While they had two kinds of sponsorships on offer, global, higher, and official, lower, Bharat Pay, or one of our group, brands interchangeably, offered to be the global sponsors for the first and third years, which would have covered both T20 and OD World Cups, originally scheduled for India, and the official sponsor for the second year. T20 World Cup in Australia. At $27 million. Thankfully, I could pass that test because of the pictures on my phone. But that was enough of a scare for us to rush back to Bhavan's house. On my stating that I had only briefly met him, he told me that the gentleman's name was Craig Coyne and that he was married to Barbara Bush. A name that didn't ring a bell with me. However, I did fathom that he was someone fairly important. I, however, didn't want any drama at a time when the company was on the brink of operationalizing a bank takeover and closure of Series A. It's another matter that as soon as her ESOPs vested in and cashed in the secondary, she put in her resignation the very next week, while the competition blew all this out of proportion and termed it as blowing investors' money. It was anything but that. Not only were we killing it in terms of recruitment, the move had also gone a long way in building Bharat Pay's brand as an employer. Mujhe gol gape emi pay bechne hai. I want every day. Purchases, such as street food, to be sold on monthly installments, without the need for a card machine. This was my drive behind launching PostPay. Additionally, we offered each member of the team 3,750 dirhams, roughly 80,000 rupees, so that they didn't feel that while their earnings were in Indian currency, they were spending in dirhams this, especially when Suhail had mentioned that his supposed wife would also be joining us on the Dubai trip, which of course didn't happen. If Madhuri is given a boat seat, I will quit by March, Suhail said to us last night, Bhavik reported to me. While I was shocked to hear Suhail's statement, as I was going out of my way to promote him, I decided against ruffling many feathers at the growth stage of the business. Hope you have thought this decision through, Mickey Malka said to me. On a phone call, as a friend rightly put it once, the entire saga had unfolded. You were doing what was right for the business, but tune apni bali chadhadi. You became a martyr to your own cause. Dot single quote. 12. Shark Tank. My private Instagram account, without the coveted blue tick, had all of 285 followers when we wrapped up the Shark Tank India shoot in Film City. When I agreed to be on the first season of the show, 
To even think that this would be an iconic television show that would propel a rather shy individual into becoming a national youth icon. And that I would have my following jump through the roof on social media seemed far-fetched to be aired on Sony television. Shark Tank was a popular international format show on which investors or sharks are pitched to by business owners who are looking for funding. I was a bit apprehensive as in the middle of hectic business deliverables. I didn't want my investors to think Ashneer distract ya vela ho gaya hai. That Ashneer has time for things outside business. His response was matter of fact. In short, he said that, while he personally wouldn't want people to recognize him as he walked down a street, that was just the way he was. Post Mickey's, you do you. Message. I reached out to Harshjeet at Sequoia, who also didn't have any strong views against it. Post the screening, while we were having Rajma Chawal for lunch. I was asked by Aman. Eshneer bhai, kya lagta hai, lenge ya nahi, do you think they will select us? To my, nonchalant, kya farak parta hai, how does it matter, came his, impassioned, mene shark tank dekh kar dhandha banaya hai. I have, grown up watching shark tank and was inspired by it to build my own, business, dot single quote. This was the first time I realized that being on the show could indeed mean something big. Overall, I was happy that I was sharing the stage with some great operating founders and not some Gyan Pelne Whale investors or angels. In a rather funny episode on the very first day of our shoot, while I was still in my vanity van, a young girl, the costume designers, Assistant, walked up to me to innocuously ask me, Ishneer sir, kab de a, gaye hai. Not only did Madhuri ask the girl to wait outside, while I got dressed, she even went up to Bimal to tell him that he shouldn't be giving us so much importance. Aman was quite upset and even asked Madhuri, aap sab shoots par auge kya? Will you come for all the shoots? When, Madhuri replied in the affirmative, he walked me to the side with a plea to do something about it. Eshneer bhai, kuch karo, sara glamour hai khatam, ho gaya hai. Eshneer, do something, the whole charm of shooting is gone. Comma single quote, he said in his characteristic style. Our clothes were repeated so much that one feedback from the audience was, Amir ho, kap de to badal lo, you are rich enough to be, able to afford more clothes, dot single quote, but the team was unsure which episodes, would finally be aired, and about the editing around it and the continuity of, the episodes, and hence people saw us week after week sporting the same, set of clothes, with Piyush, Aman, Madhuri and me taking the flight from Delhi every week. We had become good friends and would often be seen pulling each other's leg. At the airport, Aman would often take off his mask and walk around to see if anyone recognized him, while we made sure to rub it in by saying, Terako, koi nahi janta, nobody recognizes you. Dot single quote, while we spent long. Hectic hours on the set, often from as early as 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. We had all developed a great camaraderie with each other as co-judges. I recall Bimal coming up to me after the first few episodes shoots to warn me. Pehle teri pitai hogi but baad mein people will love you. You will be hated first. And then you will be loved. Dot single quote. In those early days of the shoot, Bimal even asked me if I wanted any portions edited. People had no 
idea about the way the boardroom politics was panning out. But that didn't stop fake accounts with zero posts and followers proclaiming, Tu chor hai. Sa le. Kotak whale ko gali kyun di. Why did you abuse the Kotak guy on the call on my social media handles? The next week onwards. However, there was a polarization with a lot of people feeling that I was being true to the task at hand. As there was no point praising a contestant's business model while denying him funding. In fact, I soon realized that a lot of my following came from business people, while I wasn't the working class. English speaking guy's favorite, of course. We made up the very next day as I went and hugged her, telling her that I wasn't offended by what she had said, only by the fact that she hadn't chosen to speak directly to me. I was scheduled to travel again that evening when she remarked to me, in jest, Bahot bada admi ho gaya hai. Nazar hai nahi aata. You have become too big. I don't get to see you now. Dot single quote. Just that morning, a friend, who is also a startup founder, had dropped by at our office. In a casual conversation, Madhuri and I had asked him if marriage was on the cards for him. And he had nonchalantly mentioned, Kisi movie star se baat chal rahi. Hey, talks are on with a movie star. Dot single quote. We were very intrigued by this. Bollywood angle. Tumhe Kiara Adwani se shadi. Kani hai. You want to marry Kiara Adwani. She raged. Beginning to take. Off her jewelry. 13. The Nika IPO in Kotak Saga. The 23rd of July 2021. Sir. 116 Park Hula hai share. The share has listed at 116. Dot single quote. Sell. Mujhe aapko recorded line par lena hoga. I will have to take you on a recorded line. Dot single quote. The share price was rising in the interim. Order executed at 136 rupees per share. Within 8 minutes of the Zomato IPO opening. I had made over us. 2.25 crore. I remember signing them laboriously in my Malvia Nagar office and even telling the guys at Kotak that there surely should be an easier digital way of doing these signatures. Ye papers, vase bhi chuhe khayenge. In any case, these papers would be a feast for some rodents at some point. Dot single quote. There were some pages that you even had to Sign multiple times. Why did you get 500 pages signed by me if you all weren't financing this IPO? I asked. But my query was met with no conclusive answer. Except they informed me that no Kotak customer had received this financing. I have got 20 crore rupees of financing, was Suhail's reply to Madhuri. It wasn't about losing 20 crore rupees of potential profit on this trade. But the fact that these bankers had the audacity to use their core skill of lying with clients across the value spectrum had me agitated. From Unicorn Baba, a name apparently famous on Twitter. The mail was marked Tabhavik and me and contained an audio file some 4 minutes 28 seconds in length, allegedly, of me speaking to my relationship manager at Kotak. I, of course, didn't take the mail seriously and replied with, Haha, people will manufacture any fiction. Unicorn Baba persisted with his agenda, despite my email and continued with his threats. The world is after me to disrepute. I know this and agree 100% biggest names and more powerful ones in the industry are waiting for an opportunity. 2. Asko Janta Hai. Do you know him? Was my surprise reaction. Especially, 
since Unicorn Baba had somehow chosen to mark Bhavik in the mails. Hello team! As was discussed sharing advertising plans. Unicorn Baba Early Stage Investors List Advertiser Rate Card for Bharat Pay Ad Unit Period Category Cost Currency Bharat Pay Banner 24 Months Banners on All Sheets of UB Investor List 240,000 USDT Unicorn Baba Early Stage Investor List HTTPS Docs.google.com slash spreadsheets slash d slash 1 up up 9 pnk will of dos 48 kachot 6 h363 u 31 m4 coeg slash usdt address 0 by 104,288,958 b8 e 7 ob 9 a 7 a 80 million 723,174 e b d c 4 5 6 1 d 9 d c you can expect 800 1000 high potential startup deals in two years easily my response to unicorn baba of course was that read with his previous email this was pure blackmail which i wouldn't succumb to a deleted tweet an allegedly abusive call fintech bharat pay vs kotak ndtv why are you getting so affected when you haven't done anything single quote while my family assured me that with limited attention spans all of this would blow over I was in a not so great mental space. Sequoia has suggested that we hire a new media agency, which is good, at crisis management, that could help us get our point of view across. Bhavik informed me amid this media blitzkrieg. Are you okay? Madhuri asked, sensing that there was palpable tension. In the air one morning. I am suggesting therefore that I go on leave for a few days so that the issue dies down, I said to Bhavik, Sumit and Suhail, whom I had called for a meeting at my house. Investors are asking us to have a forensic test conducted to prove that the audio was indeed not Ishneer's. Suhail and Sumit seemed to egg me on, only for me to remind them that I did not need to prove anything to anyone you can send in a proposal for voluntary leave if you wish but at the board with the investors we will turn it down stating that we cannot run the business without you bhavik said making his intention clear you know i love you and have been your biggest supporter but you have to lose this battle to live another day to fight the war my friend was his rather strange message that left me thoroughly confused my note clearly said that i would use this period to think deeply about our next phase of product development and bharat pays path to profitability and ipo i was subsequently filled in by cable hunter and others that an informal board meeting was called on the 13th of january which wasn't taken on record where my leave application was unanimously turned down madhuri's nift batchmate's dad rajanish was a former sbi chairman whom i had happened to meet earlier that year and who had agreed to join us as a professional director for a sitting fee of 50 lakh rupees a year and esops worth 2 crore rupees 1 2 3. With the bank license and with the launch. Post pay. I was taking the sheen away from Salindra's 10 year long invest M. In Pine Labs. Which was supposed to go IPO to give Sequoia its biggest paid. They had the most to benefit by playing out a merger between Bharat Pay and Labs. Something that would have been impossible to achieve with me around. 4. Also. At Robin Hood, one of Mickey's biggest investments in the US. He had seen the Federal Reserve stifle the 
company when they came down heavily on them for taking deposits. 5. Asked the simple question of why the legal C. of handling cases was spiraling ever since he came in as GC. He had vowed, Inko to main dekh lunga. Now I'll show them their place. Dot single quote. Also, he belie, that while he was a lawyer, he was equally capable of doing business. The 19th of January 2022. 7.55 a.m. Mickey Malka's name flashing on my phone right before the board meeting had. Me surprise. It was a matter of. Time before Bhavik made a walled face in the same meeting incided with the others, stating that my going on leave wasn't a bad idea after all. Suhail was sitting with his feet up, and I even heard him speaking to journalists. This when it was expressly discussed that other than issuing a press release for my leave, nobody from the company would interact with the media. Phase 2. Let's make their leave permanent. The 20th of January 2022. The spate of shocking events continued unabated as I received an email. Suggesting that the minutes of the board meeting record that I had made a request. For voluntary leave. Which the board had accepted. I wrote. Back immediately. Stating that not only did I know that the board hadn't accepted. Madhuri's resignation. Technically, I couldn't render the resignation on her behalf. When she herself had not been present in the meeting. It is all Suhail's doing. Dot single quote. I don't think I had the ability to empathize with him at that point. Except to remind him that he was the one who had turned against me in the board. Meeting. I knew for a fact that while I may have been ridiculously busy in trying to put the bricks of the business in place, to have paid attention to this coup that had brewed right under my nose, I couldn't give up this easily. After 10 to 15 minutes, Rajanish Kumar joined the meeting. He mentioned that we didn't need the lawyer's presence in the meeting and that he could drop off. Clearly, the oath that we began every board meeting with. One that confirmed that there wasn't anyone else in the room with us who could impact our decision making. Had no meaning if we were being given regular instructions on the phone. While I had put on record my dissent on the review committee not complying with the shareholders agreement as well as the articles of association of the company. I once again raised an objection in the board meeting. At times, the company did try to look at hiring a qualified CFO, chief financial officer, but Grover turned down that decision, went the rather spiteful and false report. Of course, for good measure, Suhail Samir went on record saying, Bharat Pay was urging the media not to speculate in advance of the report and make a judgment based on uninformed sources. As late as the 9th of February, I got to know that PWC had also been appointed to assist the review committee. Interestingly, Sequoia's CFO, Harshal Kamdar, who had put into place Bhavik's exit from the cap table and later joined Sequoia. Was also an ex-PWC employee. Such facts couldn't deter them. As this clearly was a fait. Accompli. And, I suspect, the review committee was set up with the motive of terminating my appointment in the first place. Financial irregularities. Found at Bharat Pay. Followed process says company. Hindu business line. 4. February 2022. Missing consultants. Dubious payments. Non-existent vendors. What the Bharat Pay probe revealed. Moneycontrol.com. The 4th of February 2022. Madhuri. In fact. Wrote a letter to Alvarez and Marcel asking them how this. Report had allegedly. Leaked.
even assuming that such a report does exist. It is common practice that where there is a report making allegations against or casting aspersions against any individual, the identity of such an individual is kept confidential. She went on to ask, only to be met with a deafening silence. Madhuri also wrote a scathing mail to the board mentioning, among other things, that since the leaked report alleged several transgressions by her, she would step down only when she had cleared her name. 15. Truth is stranger than fiction. Phase 4. Let's get the bitch first. You are requested to be available tomorrow at the office of Shardul. Amarchand Mangaldas and Company. Read an email from Bharat Pay to Madhuri 1. Morning. So much so that when I was setting up Bharat Pay, Siddharth had gone on to invest a small amount in the company while also helping us create the company's Shah. I am happy to work with you and to recuse. Myself of all mandates at Bharat Pay, was his immediate response when I approached him. I was on a mission to create value and didn't have time for such politics. I offered by way of explanation, which made me sick as I spoke. Given their objection, Sandeep Kapoor, a fiery lawyer who is much like me, daisy and solid, and doesn't get intimidated by anyone. Promptly laid down some ground rules. For the meeting. Tujhe pata hai kya hoga. You know what will happen. Was my response to her after hearing the entire episode and knowing instinctively that the meeting was only a charade. What hit her. The hardest was that the company had stooped to a level where they had. Pulled out a dermatologist bill from her office drawer, which she had paid, personally, to build a false narrative against her of misusing company funds, for, beauty treatments. Interestingly, on the day that Madhuri's termination letter was sent, my, dad, Madhuri and me were out for some personal work, and Madhuri hadn't, checked her email. I am calling from Rajanish Kumar's house, Bhavik, began the conversation, and I could also hear Rajanish in the background, seeking a meeting. Bhavik asked me if I could come to Rajanish Kumar's house in Ambience Island. Ye log tujhe fasana chahte hai. Ins, milne ka ab koi matlab nahi hai. They want to enrage you to embroil you in another controversy. There is no point meeting them now. Dot single quote. This was my dad and Madhuri's unanimous view as I finished the call. Baat kani hai. We want to speak with you. Was his response. To which I replied. Press me baate ho to. Rahi hai. The press is replete with talks. Dot single quote. At this point. Bhavik's tone. Changed completely. Tujhe baat nahi kani? While I went with Madhuri's judgment, I did send the complaint that we had drafted to Rajanish Kumar on WhatsApp. With a note, it was only because of Madhuri's regard for him that this complaint was on his phone and not in the case diaries of the horse cars. Police station. I used to be the chairman of an organization. Like the SBI. Dot single quote. Post this interaction. Rajanish was jittery as he emailed me. Saying that Suhail, Bhavik and Shashwat were at his place that day to discuss the future strategy of the business. My appeal to the SIAC clearly stated that the conduct of the board. Right. From constituting the review committee to relying upon the preliminary findings of Alvarez and Marcel which were out after a day's investigation, forcing me to proceed on voluntary leave, putting me on a compulsory leave of absence. The ongoing media leaks all clearly spoke of their malintent and that it was a clear case of fait accompli. Chalo, someone also makes money on another's. Mayat, 
I told myself. The official statement from The Company read that minutes after I received intimation that an inquiry report would be tabled, I had shirked responsibility, and that Grover and his family members had engaged in extensive misappropriation of funds and siphoned money away from the company's accounts to lead a lavish lifestyle. He also bought a Porsche, claimed an undisclosed source in yet another story. The 10 rupees crow dining table. Of the many things for which I have been written about, I didn't think a dining table would ever make the cut. How startup king Ishneer Grover lost his luster. Live mind. The 11th of March 2022. Hosh ura degi var kar raisi. Bharat pe ke kam chare ne khole raj. Dai na ga table posh par. Khach kaye das karor paye. Amar Ujala, the 12th of March 2022. That's a 10x increase from a mainstream English daily to a more mus based Hindi publication. In the desire to provide the media with fodder on my lavish lifestyle, the bhari was translated as being super expensive and the 150 kilos was turned into it $150,000. A lived story, one which has left me with a lot more experience, a lot more grey hair, a lot more insight into who my actual friends and well-wishers are, a lot more understanding of Doglapan, of success in failure and failure in success, a deeper understanding of what in life really matters, and, needless to mention, it has given me enough opportunities to embrace with equanimity the many curveballs that life throws. 1. It is in the tier 2 and minus 3 towns. In The, Kendriya Vidyalai and the government school kids that one sees this desire to rise and to turn around one's life for generations to come. 2. With many of you in jobs, this learning may not go down very well with you. But the fact remains that if you want to look at building a better lifestyle, the lure of a regular income is what you will need to forego. 3. Reese, or the innate desire to live the life of someone more successful and be in their shoes. The common advice that we give our children is not to spend time with people who have more money than us, for fear that the child may develop a complex or will get spoiled. Bigger Jiger. 5. Don't be transactional. If investors have been willing to put as much as $625 million on my ability to scale a business, a large part of this success has been because I have never been transactional in my approach. 1. Don't forget, as a founder, that the game is between you and your customer alone. The brass tacks of running a business are linked to the understanding that hey, only two important players are your customer and you. 2. The investor isn't above you. Nor is he a validation. In a legacy business, the founder's KPI, key performance indicator, is profit. And their, OKA, their standing among peer businessmen, depends on the quantum of profit made. 3. Being the capitalist economy that India is. Everything in any case happens at arm's length here. After all, dhanda, dhanda hai or rishte dari, rishte dari, business and relations can be handled separately with the same individual. I've given more cash exits to my angels and ESOP holders than any other founder in India. Not one person, however, was thankful enough to publicly stand by me. 5. 